What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue, and today I figured I'd do a tutorial on how to use the add-on Tell Me When, which you can use to track all sorts of buffs, debuffs, and cooldowns for any of your characters. If you end up liking the video, you might want to come check out some of my other content. I do uploads every weekday, and I try to cover a variety of content in WoW. If you end up liking a lot of the things I got, then you should probably maybe definitely subscribe because you're charming in other terms of endearment. Alright, so I guess we're ready to embark on our add-on adventure. Ha! Get it? Because it's an add-on guide. And adventures start with that. You suck! Yeah, okay, it wasn't that funny. You don't have to rub it in yet. Yeah, jackass! Anyways, on to the topic of the episode. Tell me when. Tell me when is a buff and debuff tracking add-on that you can download to enhance your user interface. Add-ons such as these are very popular, as they help you keep track of a lot of crucial information that the standard UI just lacks the capability of doing. It's honestly one of the first UI add-ons I ever decided to try, and it's so easy to use that I can't imagine not having it at this point. It's also one of the only UI add-ons that I've never had any issues with in terms of patches or expansions causing it to implode like a bad BlizzCon announcement. Ooh. So naturally, you'll need to download Tell Me When via CurseForge or Twitch or somewhere before you can start this tutorial. So once you have it installed, then you're going to log in to whatever character you want to make a Tell Me When profile for. To open Tell Me When, you'll type forward slash TMW in your chat interface, which should cause a little purple hand to appear in the middle of your screen and a few grey boxes too. If you just downloaded the add-on or you don't have a profile on this character yet, it should automatically be in edit mode when you first log in. You'll first want to right click on one of these grey boxes, which will bring up the group panel. Each set of boxes is an individual group in Tell Me When, and you can change a lot of things about your groups. To do this, you'll want to click on the group tab at the bottom first which should bring you the display parameters for this group. For instance, we're going to be making a Roll the Bones tracker as our first example. So we'll be using the icon display method for this, since it makes it easier to quickly see at a glance which buffs are active. We'll take a peek at the bar method later in this video. This group will only be active in Outlaw spec, so we're going to have to untick the Assassination and Subtlety icon boxes, as you don't need pointless information on your UI when you're in a different spec. You can quickly see how this works by deselecting Outlaw also, which will make this group disappear since we're in Outlaw spec right now. Obviously, we'll need to turn this back on. Now, the Dimensions tab is where we select how many things we want to track in the group. You can change the columns or rows pretty much as much as you want. However, for this example, I will be making one row and six columns, just like the group I already have to track this. If you're OCD about color coordination or just like to add some color flavor to your UI, you can change the border of your Tell Me When group and the color of the border too. It's a kind of nifty feature, though I don't really mess around with it to be honest. On the right hand side of the group page, we can change the anchoring position of the group as well as the scale of the buttons. Personally, I haven't needed to change the anchor points on any of my Tell Me Whens before, so I just lower the scale down a little since they're kind of beefy big boys as far as buttons right now. We'll say somewhere around like probably 160 to 170% scale is good, as it fits basically right between my energy bar and my combo points, because I like all my resources to be in one spot close to the middle of my screen to keep track of it easier. You can also change how far apart the icons are, if you choose to. I again don't really bother with this, as spreading them out ends up taking up more screen space than is necessary, but you might want to if that's more your thing. Now that we have our group in the size, format, and position we want, we can lock the location of it by ticking this box off here. So now we can finally get to the fun part, putting together the visuals of how we want to display our Roll of the Bones buffs. To start this, you'll want to right click on whichever box you want to fill out first. We'll just work our way from left to right to make this easier to follow along. Clicking this will bring us to the icon tab for Group 1's first icon slot. So we'll select from the drop down icon tab buff slash debuff since we're going to be tracking what Roll the Bones buff we have. So, in the What to Track section, we're going to type in our first Roll the Bones buff, Skull and Crossbones. Now, as a heads up, this part is very literal, so you want to make sure you type in the name of your buff's identical, or the add-on won't be able to find it. As you can see, the add-on will already start to filter out anything that doesn't have the words Skull and at the beginning, which leaves us with just one option on the right-hand side. So you'll click that, and it will auto-complete this part for you. So Skull and Crossbones is a buff, so we'll keep this part ticked off, and we only want to track it on us, the player. There are plenty of other entities you can track buffs and debuffs on, so you want to make sure you're selecting the right entity to track, otherwise your tracker might not work, or it could show you incorrect information. So now we can change the opacity of when the buff is active, and when it's not. 
I personally keep mine at 100% opacity when the buff is active, and at 50% when the buff is inactive. But that's obviously not required by any means, you can do that to your own preference. I mainly do it so when I'm moving weak ores or UI elements that I don't overlap where my buffs are is all. Okay, so now we have an icon that will become 100% visible when Skull and Crossbones is active, and becomes opaque when it's not active. However, it doesn't give us any really useful information. To give this icon a visual and timer like you're used to seeing on your bars, we'll need to add a timer to the Tell Me One icon. By ticking off the Show Timer and Show Timer Text buttons, you'll now get a visual indicator of how long Skull and Crossbones will be active, as well as a countdown to when the buff will fall off. I also like to invert the shading option, but that's just me. Okay, so now we just gotta do this five more times, and we're done with our Roll the Bones tracker. So next, I'll add Grand Melee to Icon 2 on our group. Remember to right-click on the empty icon box to start filling out the next one, otherwise you might end up putting multiple buffs on the same icon, which won't really help you too much. So we'll just keep doing this for Ruthless Precision, Broadside, True Bearing, and Buried Treasure to complete our nice and simple Roll the Bones tracker. Now when we enter combat and start re-rolling, these little stopwatch looking icons will be replaced with the icon of whatever buff you're tracking once you roll it, and it will count down until it reaches zero. As you can see, I also use Tell Me When for some of my cooldowns, like Adrenaline Rush, Grappling Hook, Sprint, and Repost. Doing cooldown tracking is virtually identical, with the exception of changing the icon type to a cooldown instead of buff slash debuff like we picked last time. As a side note, if you have any procs or anything you want a visual or audio notification for, you can use the Notifications tab while you're working on a particular icon to add these sort of things. For instance, if you want the icon to do some sort of a cool color pulsing effect when it procs, then you can just click Add Notification, select the type of effect you want, so in this case animation, and choose the scenario you want the animation to occur in. We'll say I want it to occur as soon as the procs timer starts, and from there I'm going to want the icon itself to flash a color. From that, you can just adjust the color and speed slash duration of the visual effect of your choosing, if you want a slightly more obvious indicator for it. You can also add a plethora of sound effects to these conditions, which works basically the same way as animating the icon. So instead of icons, let's say we want a bar to track how long a debuff will be on an enemy that we hit. For this example, we'll just say I want to track how long an enemy will be slowed due to pistol shots 50% slow debuff. We'll go back to the group tab in the bottom right corner and create a new profile group of the bar type. You'll see immediately this one looks a little bit different, but will work virtually the same. For this example, we're just going to use a one row, one column group just to showcase how to do this. You can click and drag this little stripey arrow thing to change the dimensions of the bar, so let's say we want a nice, thick and long bar. Don't we all? So we will again choose to make this bar group only appear in Outlaw, since neither of the other specs of Rogue have Pistol Shot. And then we will right click on the icon box. Sometimes you have to right click twice if you're fiddling around with other things at the same time, just as a heads up. So now we're going to pick the buff slash debuff again for our icon type, and type in Pistol Shot, since that's the particular slow we're trying to track. You'll want to make sure you select the right version of a spell by the way, as some of them, like Pistol Shot, have several different moves in the game that are called Pistol Shot. The first one is usually the correct one, and will have a light blue background to it if it's an ability, or a purple background if it's a buff slash debuff from a trinket or from your spec. For this example, you'd also want to make sure you change the option from buff to debuff, and that you're trying to see if the debuff is on your target and not on yourself, otherwise it won't work at all. It really just comes down to understanding what you're trying to track, and breaking down the thought process into each individual step, then feeding that information into the add-on. More or less, you can kind of think of it as quite literally programming the add-on, though without the pain and headaches of learning C Sharp or Perl or something. There are a ton of things you can track using Tell Me When, so once you get your feet wet, you'll want to just go for it and see if there's anything useful you want to track for Mythic Plus, raiding, arenas, or all sorts of other content. It really is a nice and simple add-on that has a pretty robust set of features for how easy it is to use. There are plenty of weak ores that can do this kind of stuff too, of course, however, I'm pretty happy with this add-on and it takes care of a majority of my buff and debuff tracking needs without having to import 18,000 different lines of code from who knows who on the internet. The best part is, if you end up having multiple of the same class, you can use the same profile across characters by clicking on the General tab, and just changing your profile on the top left corner to whatever character has the setup you want. 
So if you end up making another outlaw rogue on a different server or faction or really anywhere, you can instantly have your UI the exact same way as you did on the first rogue you made. It's really nice to have, honestly. Well guys, I hope that helps you get started with your tell me when usage. There is still even more you can do with this add-on, but this should at least be enough to give you some better ways to track buffs, procs, cooldowns, debuffs, and all sorts of other goodies to make your time playing a little easier. Thank you so much for watching, by the way. I had quite a few requests for information specifically about Tell Me When, and just people wanting to know how I keep a track of a lot of my buffs, so I figured this would be a good one to start the week off with. If you end up liking this kind of stuff, feel free to check out the rest of my channel. After all, the more the merrier. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.